so we must begin to educate our people as to alternate methods to, to begin to conserve. It's really simple. This is Outer Earth Farm just outside of Jamaica's capital, Kingston. An all biological enterprise, green, there's not even electricity here. The main business, growing and processing castor plants for castor oil. Farmer and businesswoman Shirley Lindo is always looking for new solutions in preserving the environment. Preserving the trees, for example, which in Jamaica get cut down to produce charcoal, leading to deforestation. Shirley wants to replace charcoal that is used for household cooking with otherwise useless fiber generated by the making of castor oil. Sun-dried castor seeds are separated from the chaff and then pressed, resulting in a mushy liquid that is cooked with water until oil rises to the top. A process that generates a little bit of oil and lots of leftover fiber that still contains castor oil residue. Now the briquettine is um, well, we are just actually learning, experimenting with a number of um, formulas. We're going to be using the, the waste from the charcoal, from the castor oil, plus uh, waste from the moringa trees and other, other organic matter. The recipe, grind the shells for moringa fruit, crush the castor byproducts, mix it with a binding liquid then use a mechanical device to press it into round briquettes. Next step, build a device that produces these briquettes on a large scale. And then sell these briquettes on local markets below the price people pay for charcoal or gas. Could this work? Is this idea viable? Will this be a clean energy source? Shirley got a grant from the Climate Innovation Center in the Caribbean to prove her concept. The center's experts give her advice on the testing, producing and marketing. Well, Conrad and I are discussing the, the next stage, which is to achieve an advisory committee to, to guide and assist me in developing the products. The main, the main thing in making the briquettes is that I am seeking to get a smokeless briquette. Oh my gosh! In the meantime, Shirley has already ordered a custom-made stove to test her invention. So this is heated also? Slow here, man. Can oh, do roti on it. Burgers. You can do roti? <laughs> so we would load the briquettes in here, you open it up, put the pot here, and you cook, and this part, you can heat it up, make your burgers, stuff like that. It's a good stove, and I like it. An idea with the desire to live sustainably, to reduce waste and save the local forests from being used for charcoal production. An idea to be all one with nature. Yeah, man. <laughs>